first tonight, the sudden guilty plea of Stephen Hobbs in Harris County. He's been awaiting trial for more than a decade on multiple murder charges, and just before jury selection, he changed his plea. Hobbs will serve two consecutive life sentences for the two murders he pleaded guilty to. He won't be eligible for parole until he is 101. Janelle Bluda is following the sudden change that spares the families of the victims from hearing what happened. Janelle? Yeah, guys, well, this case goes back to uh, more than a decade. Hobbs was arrested in 2011 and has been waiting for his trial ever since. It was 2011 when investigators finally put the pieces together with the help of DNA. We had those two matches of DNA, but we, it was an unknown DNA. 11 years ago, after the bodies of multiple sex workers were found, deputies got DNA samples from nearby security guards, one of them, Stephen Hobbs. That sample, investigators said, linked him to at least two murders, Sarah Sanford and Patricia Pyatt, and he was arrested. He pled guilty to two murders, two women that he murdered. Um, we believe that there's at least one more murdered victim, and then there are multiple living victims. Fast forward to today, 11 years later, Hobbs has been in the Harris County Jail awaiting trial this entire time. There were delays in the criminal justice system due to the pandemic and the flood that ruined the courthouse. Jury selection was supposed to start today, but in the moments before, prosecutors say Hobbs changed his mind after what appeared to be an emotional moment with his family. Well, I can't speak to his exact mindset. I think he recognized how much pain and embarrassment was going to come to his own family when we brought all the evidence to light. Prosecutors say in 2002, Hobbs beat and strangled Pyatt before dumping her body in the San Jacinto River. And in 2010, he handcuffed Sanford's arms and legs before shooting her in the head. And say they believe he killed a third woman and assaulted several others. Sex workers, they say Hobbs picked up on his way home from work. They would start out as a consensual encounter and then it would turn. Um, and he would begin to physically harm them, physically sexually assault them, and some lived and some did not. Well, Hobbs will have to hear victim impact statements on Friday. Prosecutors say today's deal will allow them to focus trial resources on other cases that have been waiting. Lynn? All right, Janelle, thank you for that.